Guys, this is the baggage terminal on a Friday. There is no one here. This is crazy. What's up you guys? I just got here to the airport. I'm about to go check in. This airport is absolutely empty. I mean, just look around me. There is seriously like no one here. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? So my flight actually boards in about 30 minutes and from what I read on the emails that they're gonna be doing social distancing on the flight. I actually don't know how that's gonna look and so I'm gonna try to film it, but essentially how I interpreted it is that if there's a middle seat, they're gonna be blocking that out so no one is sitting right next to each other. But with this particular aircraft, you guys, I actually think it's a smaller aircraft where the seats are right next to each other meaning like just two seats per row. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but maybe they'll just block out one in front and then keep one behind. I don't know, but we're about to find out. So far, you guys, it's a total ghost town. There's like literally no one in here. <laughs> this is crazy how empty it is. now requiring face coverings while you are on board. If you do not have a face covering for the flight, please come see me at the podium for a mask. Thank you. All right, guys, just waiting for them to call my number. So far, there's about a dozen people, it looks like, that are going to be boarding this flight. I imagine there's gonna be more, but that's about all I can see. <laughs> Just boarding the flight right now to Las Vegas. See you in Vegas, baby. All right guys, I just landed in Las Vegas, and as you can tell, there's pretty much no one here either. It is basically empty everywhere you look, which is just so weird because usually this airport is packed with people. So as you guys can see, this airport is pretty much empty. Almost no one. And as you can see here, they've actually closed off the gambling section, so you can't even do it if you wanted to. I'm actually gonna be taking this off just because it's a little bit easier to talk to you guys with it off. Plus, I mean, there's no one around me anyway, but I have a few minutes to kill before I have to check into my hotel, so I figured I would actually tell you guys the experience that I had while traveling. So first and foremost, traveling with the mask, honestly, it wasn't even that big a deal. I didn't mind it at all. I did see a few people without their mask, and they actually wouldn't allow those people to board the plane unless they had a mask on, and so a lot of people would either buy them or a lot of airlines would actually provide a mask for you which I thought was pretty cool over at San Francisco. They provided a mask to everyone that didn't have one. All of the stewardess and pilots had masks, which was really cool. And then as far as boarding the aircraft, you guys, they actually boarded it from the back first. So usually how it, it works, there's like priority boarding and like first class boards, and then it works its way to the rear. Well, with the pandemic going on, what they do is that they board the rear first and then work their way up to the front, which I actually think is smarter in my personal opinion. So another thing I was really curious about when flying is how packed the flight was gonna be. So as you guys saw, the flight was about 50 to maybe 70 percent full so i actually heard them speak over the intercom and saying that the max percent they do was 70 percent 
And so I think my flight was maybe around there. But that was really interesting to see that they actually don't pack the flight. Another thing that they do to prevent spreading any type of coronavirus germs, they actually don't provide any type of drinks or snacks or anything like that. In fact, there is very limited service at all. Usually what they did on both legs of my flight is that they just walk up and down the aisle with a trash bag so people can throw stuff away that maybe they purchased earlier beforehand. But other than that, you guys, like the service is pretty darn minimal. Also, another good thing that I want to mention, here in Vegas, there's actually music playing, but in the Salt Lake City Airport, as well as the San Francisco Airport, it was so eerie. So first off, there's not very many people. There's no music playing. You know you're in a place that's usually packed with travelers, but there's just none. And so it was just kind of like this eerie feeling, almost kind of like the end of the world type thing. But anyways, that was just one thing that I thought was just kind of eerie, but at the same time, a little bit historic because this will more than likely never happen again in my lifetime. And so to be able to kind of witness and experience this firsthand was kind of a historical feeling. So I got a hotel just outside the strip. As far as I'm concerned, the strip is still closed down, at least the hotels are. I could probably start heading over there now actually so I can go check in and whatnot. Well guys, about to go get my bag, just got off the tram. There was like no one in it. <laughs> and again, there is no one here. This airport cannot be more empty, guys. It's crazy, just the whole feeling and the experience so far has been a little eerie, like I mentioned, but also kind of a historical, cool feeling, I guess you could say in a way. In order to get to the hotel, I got an Uber. And so this whole trip, you guys, is gonna be just a bunch of firsts for me as far as traveling goes, just because I flew on a plane for the first time during the pandemic. I'm gonna be staying in a hotel for the first time during the pandemic, and I'm gonna be doing an Uber ride for the first time during the pandemic. I will say this, it is so hot here in Vegas, especially here inside the airport. I don't even know how it's this hot. When we landed, the pilot said that it was over 100 degrees today, and we we actually flew over Lake Mead and I looked down at the lake and I was like, oh my gosh, I was literally there last weekend in the water and it just looks so refreshing. Heck, I'd love to go back there. It was amazing. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out because we had so much fun and it just makes me want to go back so bad. I just want to point out, it is a Friday. Yes, a Friday. And I am the only one, it feels like, in this entire airport. So crazy. Guys, this is the baggage terminal on a Friday. There is no one here. This is crazy. Look at this. No one. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just nuts right now. the pickup location where Uber would be would be packed and there is really not a whole lot of people here look at that that is crazy well guys I was able to check into my hotel early which I am beyond thrilled about because I am definitely outside the window but I am guessing that I'm able to check in early only because there's no one here. Come on, let's be real. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty nice little setup. I will say this though, after checking out the entire hotel room, I was thinking, wow, this is a pretty clean place. Then I realized this little number. Yes, that is someone's shorts from whoever stayed here last. So you know for a fact I'm not touching that thing. But oh my gosh, like I thought for sure they would have cleaned it. On the one positive side note, it does look like it's a brand new pair of shorts because it still has the tag on it. But still, like ugh, I'm not touching that. I am pretty starving though, you guys. Luckily, my view is pretty amazing because I look out onto Cracker Barrel. That Cracker Barrel looks absolutely amazing, so I'm gonna go head on over there, get some lunch, do some work stuff, and then I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Guys, 
lunch was delicious. I think I called Cracker Barrel Crate and Barrel a few times while I was in there, which was kind of funny. But honestly, I have never been there before and I thought the food was so freaking good. Plus, it was like a freaking steal. It was like eight bucks or something like that. Anyway, I love those kind of places. I thought it tasted delicious. But I am just finishing up some work stuff. As you can see, I got my little command station set up over here. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna sign off right now because I am exhausted and I need some serious sleep for tomorrow because Tomorrow is gonna be a big day for me. Things kick off tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., which means I gotta be there earlier. And then it's just go, 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 all the way until 9 p.m. when I land back in Utah. So I'm gonna sign off because I'm exhausted and I need some sleep and I still got work to do and I still got the vlog to do. But if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and were able to have a firsthand experience with me as I personally flew for the first time during this pandemic, which was just crazy. And I did an Uber ride and I'm staying in a hotel. I mean, I'm doing the whole works. If you guys are not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Thing. Plus, we have more fun and exciting plans coming up. And if you guys are traveling during this pandemic, definitely drop it below in the comments because I would love to hear what your guys' experience has been like. All right, you guys, that is going to do it for us tonight. We love you so much. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye.